Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. I am in the show me state. This is a whitetail season. I'm sitting in a shop that we've been staying in. We got a pot belly stove back behind us, keeping things warm. And I'm sitting across the table from the Zonikers. Well, hello everybody. My name is Audrey. I am from Plainfield, Illinois, and I have been hunting for about six years or so. Six years now. Yep. Awesome. I've awesome. been hunting since I was 12. And hello everyone, my name is Todd Zoniker, I'm Audrey's father, and I've been hunting, let's see, I, my first year in the woods I was 12, and uh, I'm 52 now, so that makes 40, so 40 years for me, and for the last six years, I've had my best hunting partner, which has been my daughter Audrey, took yeah. her out. This was part of a high school graduation gift and a turning 18 gift, so That's we were right. wrapping everything up into one spectacular oh. trip. Dad, here mm -hmm. you are, a uh, little bit new experience getting her prepped for this hunt. Um, what did you do? And uh, I mean, did you do anything different, or or did you just kind of go, hey, let's let's throw some bolts down range, and and all we got to do is be closer. Right, right. Well, one thing that we did that was, I think, very good preparation was we spent a lot of hours watching television shows with bow hunters. Oh, yeah. And how yep. they do things. Because, you know, the, the, the philosophy may be the same, but it is completely different in terms of the style of hunting. Um, we, uh, we did a lot of preparation uh, just from an educational standpoint, learning how to shoot down, learning how to shoot uh, closer. Yep. Um, focusing on all that and it was it was really intuitive though for her to switch from a rifle style of hunting to a, a crossbow style of hunting and for what it's worth I think it's a great way to get a youth into the sport yeah because you don't need to worry about drawing the bow there's a lot of things that that I don't want to say make it easier but um, they really do they make it easier and and just a lot easier in the stand there's no um, doubt about it uh, crossbow is an exceptional tool mm -hmm. I agree. getting into archery but this wind might uh hold on we got wind there got some get that clean oh is it icy yeah don't want to add any weight because it'll change how it flies it's okay slow down can you, can you do this with your foot
courtesy of four by man he's gonna come this way too I bet yeah he noticed it his ear turned but he's feeding he I want to digress for just a moment because when we left here night one, I was pretty down on myself for making the mistake yep. of calling her off what would have been the best year of her life. Yeah. And so far. Yeah, yes. it, it would have been. And I was I was really pretty down on myself for, for what I thought was screwing that up. I, I should have let her go ahead and try to make the, 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 the shift to position in the stand yeah. and, and, and let her try to you know, make the swing and, and just try to pull it off. Here's what was refreshing to me was that the whole way from here back to uh, Boonville, um, Audrey was talking me up. Mm -hmm. And yep. she's the one who didn't get to take the shot. Yeah. So she's the one saying, it's, yeah, yeah she, the whole way back was, was, was it's, Audrey it's saying, right. yeah, she said, dad, it's, it's okay. She said, I see why you, you made the call that you did. She said, I don't think I could have gotten into position. She, she was the one talking me up when in reality, you'd think it'd be the other way around. You, you would have thought she would have been the one who was right. the most down in the dumps. When, yep. So, you know, we, we kind of flipped positions there mm -hmm. and, and, and I listened to her and, and I felt a whole lot better by the time I got home because I, I felt Good. pretty bad about screwing that up. That's, a, you that's know. what you call a team. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Sometimes that's right. when one's down, the other's got to well, kind of pick you up. You bet. You can't we've, always we've, give 50-50. We've been a pretty good team for a lot of years. That's right. Yep. Like, like yep. 18 of them. Oh yeah. All 18 <laughs> of them. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so good. anyway, I wanted to, to just go through that because it, it made the next morning uh, a, a completely different experience because yep. now, you know, we had put the previous evening behind us. Mm-hmm. Uh. 
I don't think I've ever had, in fact, I, I know I've never had a day in the woods where I saw so many bucks. Um, the buck the to doe, set. yeah, the buck to doe ratio was off the charts. It was, I don't think we saw but two does, and we yeah. probably saw ten bucks that day. Yep, yep, eight um, to ten, yeah. It was a lot of them, and they were following a consistent pattern. They were coming from the north, from our right, working the woods, and uh, they were just cruising. Yep. Uh, and, you know, we would grunt and they'd stop and look or we'd rattle a little bit. They'd stop and look, but they, they were all on a mission. It was mm. really, you know, it's just you that. You could tell the rut was on. One of the bucks that came through, um, I, I put a grunting and, and, and real quick rattling session on him. And uh, then I'm going to let you pick it up and take it from there. My dad is sitting to my right, and he's leaning forward looking at this other buck, and I see movement out of the corner of my eye as I'm looking directly behind my dad's head. And I'm like, Dad, there's a deer back there, there's a deer back there. He starts to walk forward, and so my dad's like, well, we've got to get him to turn back in here. So he grunts. He's on a mission. He's going somewhere, doing something, doing what you do, doing dear things, right? <laughs> right. And uh, and so he's walking, and my dad gives a big. Eh, eh. Hold on. I'm in range. Wait, wait. Eh. Jump string a little he bit. Jumped he did. String. He jumped oh, yeah. the string. Jumped Their reaction time is so quick when they hear the string. They're dropping. And I, I'm stunned at how quick their reflexes were. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because he was already moving down. Mm -hmm. yep. And and right over the top we went, and and uh, he returned to p complete normal behavior yeah. in five steps. Again, showing this transition mm -hmm. that, you know, new, newbie, if, if I can call you that, a newbie oh, yeah. with, oh, yeah. with, with, the, with the crossbow. Yep. Then here we are, things go well, but yet they don't end as you would have him right again right, right. bucks fine yep um he's yep. a little yep. sore but he's still yep. doing his rep thing now we're <laughs> in now you've moved locations yep. and you're set up in, in, to talk me through that well now we've moved locations we're on to one of the prime stands on the other half of the property which is the east side and it's different when you're bow hunting versus versus oh. gun hunting I oh mean, yeah I've learned so much this week. It's yeah, been a too. real education. To me, the best way to describe it is a shrinking of the envelope. The deer behave the same. All the same, you know, you're dealing with the same weather adversities. You're in a stand. Everything else is the same. Um, Everything what, that you can't control is the same. Exactly. But then you have this shrinking of the envelope. We could have shot a dozen bucks over the last five days with a gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've only had Providing one that everything shot was at a buck with a bow. Yep. Um, you know, there would be, if we had a dozen tags, they'd all be filled tonight. Yep. With with a rifle. Audrey was in her, in her usual spot being a left-handed shooter. She was sitting on my left side and I'm on the right side. She had the crossbow and it was pointed forward. And this doe popped out. We couldn't have scripted that doe to do a better job than she no, did this morning. She we did really awesome. couldn't have. Uh, we, we couldn't have put her on a string and had her doing anything better than what she did on her own. She popped out uh, 40 yards to our right. So now I'm in the way of her. Because yep. she, I've got her on my left, the doe popped out 40 yards to our right and immediately started coming towards us. Now, the, the woods is just dead silent. It was just that picture-perfect, yep. quiet morning. Yep, everything was crisp, so, so you could hear everything. I was able to, to get the rangefinder up above the rail, get a quick, uh, a quick range on her. She was at 18 yards. Yep. And then I knew from our mistakes on the, on the first night 
it's time for me to shut up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> there is a point. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I've learned that mm -hmm. the hard way. Um, it's time for me to shut up because I'm very confident in Audrey's ability to shoot. It's an indescribable feeling. I love the adrenaline rush, the the happiness, the my face says it all on on the on the camera. I sat there, I was crying, I was heavy breathing, all that good stuff. It made me feel really good. It made me feel secure and confident in knowing that I know what I'm doing when it comes to that kind of thing and uh, knowing that I'm good with my team. Hunting is a journey. It's the experience, and getting a deer is just icing on the cake. It's right. it's it's cake is still a cake without the icing. <laughs> icing just makes it that much better. It only takes 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's right. Less than. So for us, we are at that cusp of the hunt where, if it ended right now, I believe everybody holds their head high. Oh, everybody would Astounding be completely success. happy. Yeah. If tonight was the end of the season, we would be driving away as happy as could be. Right. Astounding Content. success. Content, yep. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.